If you ever search YouTube on how to make money, you've probably seen videos about how you can make $33 every 10 minutes typing on YouTube or make $55,000 per month without lifting a finger. But if you ever actually try what they tell you to do in the video, you'll probably end up getting sued, kicked off every single social media platform, as well as getting a bunch of viruses on your computer. And even more important than that, you're also going to waste a massive amount of time, effort, and money. So in today's video, let's talk about how you can actually make money typing online. And the recommendations that I'm going to give in this video are backed by data because my team and I scraped the internet for different ways of making money and specifically typing jobs because those are some of the best jobs as well as trying many of them ourselves. So if you appreciate my team and I going through all this effort, go ahead, cheers that like button and let's jump into it right now. All right. So the first one on the list is going to be medical scribe. And I'm going to tell you a quick story about someone who I'm going to call Kelvin. So Kelvin wanted to get a job as a writer. He wasn't happy with his previous job and he wanted to go ahead and do something where he could use his writing skills because he was a really fast typer. And he also wanted to work in the medical field. So he looked for a job as a scribe because typically they do end up getting jobs in the medical field. So he ended up getting a job with a small scribe company and he worked in an ER. Now the shifts were, you know, relatively hectic, but he actually enjoys that. He likes the faster pace and he said that the workload for him was compensated extremely well. He was also extremely happy with the flexibility of the job as well as the days off that he got. So this is the story of Kelvin who posted about his experience on Reddit as a medical scribe. Now, as a medical scribe, of course, what you do is you actually write down what doctors say. And you might be thinking to yourself, Shane, what could be more thrilling than listening to a doctor dictate for hours at a time? No, but seriously, this is a challenging yet rewarding career. And it's also a really good way of getting into the healthcare field. Many people start off as scribes and then they move into other roles. A lot of people even get jobs as scribes while they're still in college. Another really cool thing as a scribe is you can get a remote job as well. You don't actually have to be there in person. Now, there are many companies out there that hire people for this role of medical scribe, but there's two companies that sort of stood out above the rest and people tend to have the best opinion on. And those two companies are Equity Solutions and Virtuity. And these have a ton of positive reviews on Reddit. So for instance, this person said that they were working for Equity Solutions as a scribe for about six months, and then they were able to leap into a scribe management role. They also said there's a ton of opportunity and they're expanding like crazy. And then all you have to do if you want to try to get a job with them is to, of course, go to the website and click apply. Now, according to Glassdoor, medical scribes make about $40,000 a year, but you also have to understand that many people actually do this part time. So this is an extremely common job for people who are either in medical school, trying to get into medical school or some other medical related career. So for this one, when it comes to typing jobs, how easily you can get into it, as well as the positive feedback back that we scraped from the internet, I'm going to have to give this one a 10 out of 10 money score. Next is going to be a court reporter. And there's a really good article I read on the internet written by Jane Wells. And she basically talked about how Americans were overloaded with student loan debt. Of course, I talk about that a lot on this channel. And she talked about a job where people can actually get to six figures without having to go to college and take out a bunch of student loan debt. And that job is a court reporter. And basically what you do as a court reporter is you record everything that that's being said and you record who said it. And obviously in this type of position, you have to be able to type incredibly fast and you have to be accurate. Now, a lot of the time you can make over $35 an hour as a court reporter. And there's even one opening in San Francisco that was over $100,000 a year plus benefits. Now, on top of the normal court reporting, there's a lot of federal initiatives to provide captioning services for people who are hearing impaired as well. So yeah, there is a ton of opportunity out there. Now, if you look at LinkedIn, there's about eight 8,100 results for court reporter when you search that term. So that's pretty good. And if you look at Reddit, this is one of those careers that people absolutely rave about. I mean, I'll pop up some of the reviews on the screen right now if you want to see them. It's been everything I imagined it to be. I absolutely love this career. I love court reporting with all my heart. I love my job, exclamation mark. Now, if you look at Glassdoor, it says court reporters make about $53,000 a year on average. But like I said, there are opportunities for higher paying jobs. And this is one that you can get into without a call college degree. Typically, there will be some training involved, though. And for that reason, because there's a little bit higher barrier to entry with this one, a little bit harder to get into, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. Next, let's talk about Amazon Mechanical Turk. And this is one you might have heard of because it basically allows you to do what's known as micro transactions or micro tasks. And there's a really cool story of let's call her Jen, who was really frustrated with her work and she wanted more work life balance. She wanted to see her family more often and she had some kids. And she wanted to homeschool them and she was extremely frustrated 
frustrated because she had to spend so much time, effort, money, as well as gas, uh, getting her kids to school, as well as getting herself to work. So she wanted to be able to work from home and homeschool her kids at the same time. So she wanted a job where she could basically set her own hours, have some autonomy and have more control over her time as well as her money. Now she tried many things, but the one that worked for her best was Amazon Mechanical Turk or MTurk. And she was able to make an extra 2000 to $2,500 per month doing this. And at the same time, she's able to do all the other things that she needs to do at the house, taking care of her kids, as well as doing errands. So basically, this is a marketplace for small tasks that do involve some human intelligence. So let's say you're a business owner and you have a task where you need it to be done every single day and it does require some skill. Let's say it requires some data analytics skill, for instance, and you probably can't have somebody on your team do it. But it's also a task that would be kind of long enough and also annoying enough that you don't want to have to do it yourself. So you would hire somebody who has these data analytics skills and you would basically just have them do it for maybe 30 minutes a day or 15 minutes a day. Or maybe there's a task that requires some human input from somebody who has some creative writing ability, for instance. A lot of people watching this probably want that. These are the types of jobs that you would put on MTurk as well. Now, the thing about doing MTurk is when you first start off, you're probably going to have to do some of the lower level jobs and you're likely going to be making somewhere around minimum wage doing this. But the good thing about MTurk is you can get this money incredibly quickly. This is something where you can start making money right away. And once you get some experience, you kind of know which jobs to take and which jobs to stay away from. You can definitely make more money than that. So according to Glassdoor, MTurk uh, workers at Amazon make around $43,000 a year. And there is a ton of positive reviews about MTurk on Reddit. And this is really good to do if you're somebody, for instance, like a stay at home mom, where you are pretty busy throughout the day, but you have little stretches where your kids are maybe napping or something like that, where you can, you know, get on the computer and do some extra work. So it's an extremely flexible way to make some extra money on the side. And I actually think just the concept of MTurk is awesome, especially now that I'm somebody who is a business owner and I have these little problems in my business where I, I'm thinking in my head, like, yeah, it would be nice to just hire somebody to just take care of this one little task every single day, rather than having to hire a full-time person or have somebody who's already working for me do the task themselves. So if you've tried MTurk yourself, or you've tried something like it, or any of the ones on this list, or something that you think should have been on this list, go ahead, comment down below and let everybody know. One of the coolest things about my channel is people share their experiences. Sometimes you'll disagree, sometimes you'll agree, but the best thing is everybody will get to share their opinion and everybody gets to learn from it. Next, let's talk about content writing. Now, this is one, in my opinion, that is going to absolutely blow up in the next 10 years. We are moving into what's known as the creator economy, and I think we are just at the beginning. You have to understand here that there are literally creators on YouTube that get more views per month than entire news networks. And this is actually not that uncommon. Like a single person in their room or in their kitchen or whatever, recording videos that are getting more views than an entire team at a news network that probably has like 500 to 1000 people. That is the power of the creator economy. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger. And the reason for this, in my opinion, is because people don't trust the mainstream news. And people also just tend to not trust TV in general. And you are watching YouTube right now, most likely, unless this was like copied and put somewhere else, or maybe it was like clipped and put on TikTok, but you're watching YouTube right now. And I hate to be the person who tells you that Santa's not real, but almost every YouTube channel out there scripts their videos, okay? Mr. Beast does it, just about everybody else does it. And the reason for this is because you can't rely on luck or happenstance to make sure that interesting things happen in your video. Now, for instance, if I didn't script my videos, I would forget a bunch of the important stuff and then I'd get to the editing phase and I'd be like, oh crap, I forgot to say that and I forgot to say this. And same thing with Mr. Beast, all these random things that happen when people randomly show up at his videos, it's all scripted. Now, of course, they always leave in a few things here and there that are unscripted, but I think you get my point here. Mr. Beast has an entire team of script writers and most YouTubers out there are actively looking to hire people to help them write scripts, help them research, etc. So some of the skills involved in this are, of course, being able to do research on topics, coming up with topics, being able to tell a story and being able to present information in an interesting and informative way. Now, of course, this is going to be different depending on what niche you're in. You know, you might be in like a Mr. Beast challenge type niche, and that's going to be completely different than if you're in the educational niche like I am. But I can tell you right now, this is probably the hardest position to hire for. To find somebody who's good at writing YouTube scripts is almost impossible right now. Almost all the YouTubers out there that I know of who have actually ended up getting good script writers had to just hire somebody who's a good writer in general and then spend a ton of time and effort training them on how to actually write YouTube.
YouTube scripts specifically. So if you're somebody who's been watching YouTube for years, you probably have a natural sense of what makes a good YouTube script. So this can be an incredible opportunity for you. I'm telling you right now, there are content creators out there that will give you six figures like just like that if you're a good script writer, like no questions asked. And the great thing about content writing is this can also be done on a side hustle slash freelancer basis. So this one has a very low barrier to entry. You could literally post on Fiverr and start writing content. There's a lot of websites out there as well, like iWriter.com, for instance, where you can start writing content. Now, there are specific niches, in my opinion, that are going to be better than others. Uh, you can also help them come up with their content strategy. That's a whole nother topic. But if you're good at writing content, you can help them come up with content strategy. So there's a lot of other areas that you can move into that pay even better. So this one, without a doubt, probably the best one in the entire video. There's a lot of opportunity at the entry level and a lot of opportunity over time. This one gets a 10 out of 10. Next, let's talk about one of the most common writing jobs that you see on YouTube, which is closed captioning and transcription. Now, this one can be really good. Don't get me wrong. And you can get a job in it relatively easily, which is why you hear about it so much on YouTube. But there's a few things that are not so good about captioning and transcription. And some of those are, for one, it's probably going to get automated relatively soon. And it may not get fully automated, but we'll probably get to the point where AI does like 95% of the work. And then somebody kind of comes in at the end and just makes sure that the AI got everything correct. The second thing is, you're not really learning any valuable skills other than being able to type fast. And there's a limit in how fast you can type, right? You can only type so fast. I think like maybe 150 words per minute is about as fast as you can get. There might be some, you know, really good typers out there that can get up to like 200, but there's absolutely a limit to how fast you can type. So once you get to that point, your personal limit, you're not really going to be learning all that much beyond that. So you're not getting that much value out of doing transcriptioning. So I do think this is a good one where if you absolutely have to make money right away, this can be a good option for you, but it's definitely not something you'd want to do forever. So if there's somebody you know who needs to make money right away, first of all, you should definitely share this video with them. But yeah, this can be pretty decent for that. So a few companies that people do talk about quite a bit on Reddit are going to be VTAC, uh, Caption Max, as well as Rev. And on Glassdoor, it says closed captioners make about $40,000 a year and subtitle editors make about $52,000. So this one, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 overall money score. Next is going to be a chat agent. And this is is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be somebody who chats to people. So it's going to be very similar to customer service representative, but instead of having to listen to angry Karen screaming at you, you only have to read their text. So it's a lot better. So this is another one that had a ton of positive feedback on Reddit. And it's also one where you can get a job incredibly quickly. And you also have an advantage if you're like a native English speaker. So somebody from the United States, Britain, Australia, etc. And the reason for that is because you will be able to type in a more like native English type of way. And a lot of the time customers will appreciate that. So with this one, if you look it up on Glassdoor, they make about $36,000 a year. So it's not that great. But like I said, this is one that you can get into incredibly quickly. Like you could probably get a job in a week if you really had to. So overall, I'm going to give this one a five out of 10 money score. Next, let's talk about click worker. Now this is very similar to mechanical Turk or M Turk, but it's specifically for creating micro jobs that are related to typing, hence why it's called click worker. And this is another one that Reddit absolutely raves about. So if you go to the beer money subreddit, this is one of their favorites. So this person, for instance, talks about their experience where they're making about 13 to $18 an hour on average. But they also mentioned that the week before was really slow and they only made about $40. So typically you're going to have less work than something like Mechanical Turk, but the work that you do get is going to be better paid. So there's definitely some pros and cons to this. This is one where you can make money right away. It's quite easy. You can make better money per hour than you would on something like MTurk, and you can make that better money right away, but there's also not going to be nearly as much opportunity. But overall, I'll give this one basically a tied score with Mechanical Turk. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Now, one thing that's unfortunate about most of the typing jobs on this list is a lot of them don't have much of a future. So they could be good right away to make money if you just need money right now, but unfortunately, you're not going to learn that many valuable skills for the future. Or at the very least, the valuable skills you're going to learn are going to be in maybe the first six months to one year. And then after that, it's just going to be doing the same thing over and over again. So if you want to get into careers where you actually can learn valuable skills, the companies are actively looking for, I highly recommend checking out the Google career certificates. And I made an entire video on what the top five certificates are. And these are perfect for people who want to get into entry level careers. And you can check that out right here.